Good afternoon, everybody. It's Darren from SportsCardDirect.com. We've made a couple of changes to the site today. Um, they're small, but um, hopefully they are beneficial to all of our buyers on the website. We've kind of updated our shopping cart feature and how you check out and can buy multiple listings from one particular buyer. Now, before, you could just click on Buy It Now. It would take you out to PayPal. Or you click Add to Cart, and it would use the shopping cart feature from PayPal. Um, it was cumbersome coming back to the website from PayPal was not the easiest. So we've incorporated our own shopping cart feature now on the website and you can actually just buy the cards from a particular seller, um, all of them, some of them, and I'll give you a quick um, tutorial on how to do that. So basically the first thing you're going to want to do is whenever you need to buy a, or want to buy a card, you log in to the website. So we will do that right now. Let's click on football and let's click on say this Barry Sanders card here and we're going to click add to cart. Pop up is going to tell me that it's been added to my cart. I'll scroll down, click view cart. I have some instructions here on how to use this but now you will see that the Barry Sanders card is in here. I can buy it now or I can buy all from this seller. So what I'm going to do is continue to um, look at Kroll's cards, see what he has, say, you know, there's this Travis Hafner card that looks pretty cool. I'm going to add that to my cart. And then maybe what else does he have here? We'll do this um, Carlos Gonzalez card. Add that to my cart. I can go back to my cart. I will just hit refresh here. You'll now see all three of the cards from Kroll in here. I will now go to say hockey, pick a couple hockey cards, and you'll see well, this is Kroll again. Let me just type in into the search Grimmett, which is me. I will add just two of my cards quickly into the shopping cart. And now I will go back to my shopping cart tab, hit refresh, and you will see that I have the cards from Grimmett. I'll have the cards from Kroll. Now if I want to buy all of the cards from one of the cards from Kroll, I would just click on buy it now. It's going to take me out to PayPal. Ask me to log in, and you can see, you know, the shipping, how you can figure out the shipping charges and whatnot. That's for one card. If I want to buy all the cards from them, I click Buy All from the Seller. Takes me out to PayPal, and you'll see all th three cards from Kroll. Type in my zip code, click Calculate. Shipping and handling will be $2.25. I would just log in and pay. Um, I think this is going to help out a lot of people, if not everyone. I know some people have been wanting to purchase multiple cards from somebody, and it gets to be a little bit cumbersome. And I know the one thing about the Internet is we only have a finite amount of time for people's attention to buy things and whatnot. And if there's any hiccups, they're not going to want to buy things. So I'm hoping that this is just something that's going to make it a lot easier for everybody in the future. One thing that it will be changing as well or we will be updating and those are for the people that are sellers is in the my listings page. Um, right now there's no way to do bulk deletes of items. We will be putting a little box right here and you'll be able to check it off and do multiple deletes. Some of you have also asked to have a picture so what we will do is instead of clicking right here to see the actual picture of the card, some people who do bulk uploading say, I don't know which ones I've added pictures to. We will have thumbnails right here so you'll be able to see all of the different cards that you have your pictures for. And we will also be updating the Manage Sold Products section so it truly reflects cards that have sold. Right now what happens is some of the cards that go in here 
there's a date and that date is populated from sometimes when you've edited a card or whatever. Now it will only pull from when a card sells. So that will help with that. Otherwise, that's really about all that I have for right now. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, even on the homepage, you can click on the cart by seller. It brings you right to your shopping cart. Um, I better, I'm going to empty my cart. One thing to note that if you put something in your shopping cart on say Monday and you go back Tuesday and it's not in your cart, more than likely that car has been purchased by somebody else. So that's just something to be aware of. But um, what was I going to say? You know, things are going great. Um, some of you have mentioned that you've seen us advertising on eBay, um, ESPN and whatnot. It's a little bit of retargeting that we're doing and it seems to be working. Membership is going up. Track of, traffic is def definitely going up. One thing that I've also noticed is that there has been a lot more sold cards um, over the last week or so as well. So if you look on the front homepage, you'll see the sold card section. Lots of cards are being sold, which is what I look at every day because that means that tells me that you know people are using the site and finding deals and buying cards. So once again, thank you. Um, thanks to those that have been uh, taking part in our um, yearly Pick'em uh, pick Challenge pool for the NFL. There are three weeks left. You can still take part in it um, if you haven't to at least, you know, maybe try and win a free box of something over the next uh, three weeks. And then there we will, will be doing the, um, the year-end group break. Top 15 people get in. Everybody gets two teams except for the first and second place finishers they will get three teams. And um, the product is yet to be determined. I'm not sure whether to do two cases of Topps Chrome or a bit of mix it up. But that's all I have. Um, I'll keep this short. I want to say thank you to everybody. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, um, at Card Direct by Twitter, Facebook page, uh, Sports Card Direct, or email info at sportscarddirect.com. Thanks, everyone, and bye for now.